Hello. Does your company have the right hiring systems or strategies in place? I was having a couple of conversations with some contractors who own their own business and thinking, okay, because of the virus, there's got to be a lot of unemployed quality people available. So I sent out an email just asking that question. And I found what I found was kind of interesting. Um, most companies still have a hard time finding quality tradespeople. Then I, I talked to another uh, roofing contractor who was very proud of the fact uh, and told me that he had hired four roofing technicians. And I asked him, okay, how many interviews did you have in order to hire four technicians? And he kind of puzzled, said, well, four. So you hired every person you interviewed? Uh, and he said, yeah, reluctantly, <laughs> thinking he was falling to a trap. Then I said, well, aren't unemployed people really a pool of people that nobody else wanted? Because, you know, quality people, I mean, if you have your, your top guy, right, he's been with you for five or 10 years or, or longer in some cases, you do your best to make sure he's happy, he stays employed, even though in the roofing industry, you keep him busy plowing or repairs or, or doing whatever, or even, you know, removing snow or, or finishing basements or something, right? You never want to lose your best people, right? So the people who get laid off are people that nobody else wanted. So if you're hiring from the unemployed pool, aren't these people that nobody else wanted? Because if they really wanted, they would make sure that they were employed, right? Um, so in the construction industry, I mean, 39 years of consulting and helping and developing systems and training, uh, developing training systems and doing different things for different contractors for 39 years. I mean, we found, we find that in order to hire one good roofing technician, you have to interview between 40 and 80 of them, or you have to look at at least 40 and 80 resumes, right? So if you hire four from four, it means you're getting maybe one good guy, but the rest are crap. And, and now you're gonna be investing your company resources to train these people, you know, for six months or three months, then, you know, they're gonna leave again. So how are you going to capture all that I mean, your time is valuable or your crew chief time is very valuable. Now you're going to be investing his time into training people who are really not qualified and really should not be in your company. Is that really the best strategy for your company? Um, you know, as an example, when we hire people, and it doesn't matter where, where the client is, let's, let's assume he's in Vancouver or Calgary or Toronto or Ottawa or Newfoundland, you know, it doesn't matter where the client is, we always advertise across Canada or across the US, right? Because if you truly believe, if you want to run a $10 million company or a $20 million company, you need to have the best people. You cannot have, you cannot hire from people who are unemployed and live within the 15 or 30 minute radius of you. I mean, the selection is gonna be piss poor. If you're gonna hire top quality people, you, sometimes you have to hire them from the opposite end of the country uh, or bring them back home because they went out there for, for a job. But how do you get, and you want to hire people who are not looking for a job, who are happy where they are, right? If they're happy where they are, chances are they've got something going on up there. They're good people. Uh, they're happy, they're getting a good salary, and they have no reason to leave. But those are the people you want. So how do you reach those people, right? How do you get to those people when they're happy and not looking, right? So we use a lot of different systems to do that. Obviously, LinkedIn is the best source. We, we target people who are not looking for jobs, and we target people, and we ask, you know, are you happy? Are you, are you looking for a better opportunity? What if... You know, what if there was an opportunity that gave you greater advancement opportunity? What if there was profit sharing within the company? What if there was, you know, uh, uh, an opportunity for you to eventually own a franchise in doing what you're doing? 
we've worked on uh, eight different franchise concepts now. We're working on a new one. We're working on the Disruptor and stay tuned for the Disruptor. I think you're gonna enjoy that. Um, but we're looking at disruptors and when we create a disruptor, you know, we always, not always, we try to create a franchise concept. So by giving the guy an opportunity who's been working with his hands or leading a crew or being on the job site and really wants to work, you know, uh, who wants to have better quality of life, who wants to, you know, get off on weekends and wants to, you know, take, you know, two months in the winter to go south to the Bahamas or or somewhere, you need to give him an opportunity. You need to give him the profit sharing and an opportunity to run his own business, a turnkey business, right? And not work with his hands and really have a business work for him. We have clients that you know are out of their country seven or eight months of the year. And that's what I mean about a turnkey operation. When you buy a Tim Hortons, when you buy a McDonald's, right? The owner doesn't work in the building. The owner just collects the, uh, the revenue from the business. Uh, McDonald's or Tim Hortons, you know, trains and brings in the manager to do everything for you. You don't even have to enter the building if you don't want to, right? So that's what a turnkey operation, a turnkey operation for a painting business or a roofing company or a general contractor should be a turnkey operation. So if you are working with your hands and you want to uh, work towards um, a system where you can own a turnkey operation, um, then some of the jobs we have available give you that. And that's how we attract top quality talent from across the country. This video is designed to attract top quality talent from across the country because of what I just said. Right. So using different strategies like that, also using, you know, ZipRecruiter as an example. Yes, it costs between $400 and $700 a month, but now you can advertise up to 10 jobs across the country so you can get the best crew chief for your painting company or your roofing company or your automotive business or whatever you're running. You need to attract the best quality people from across the country. You cannot, I mean, it's foolish to think that you can operate a $2 million, $10 million, $20 million company by paying you know, um, average wages and not attracting top quality people. Top quality people, uh, money is not a, a motivator long-term, but it certainly helps get the quality people because they have mortgages to pay. They have you know, a lifestyle, they wanna travel, they wanna do different things. So you have to design a business that gives you enough profit for yourself and also enough profit so you can hire top quality people. So it becomes a self-funding business. So it grows to 5 million or 20 million. So you need to have these strategies in place. So to help you out, I'm gonna put in um, a discount code for ZipRecruiter so you can start using the system. And ZipRecruiter, if you don't know, uh, deals or uses 1500 job placement sites across North America so you can find top quality talent uh, to come and work for your company. Or better yet, if you don't wanna pay 400 or $700 a month to, to do that, I think it's definitely worth it, then you know, we can help you find talent. We can, we'll work for you for free for two weeks to help you find your key people. Um, you know, we'll write the job descriptions to make sure that you're getting top quality talent. You know, reach out, we'll help you out. Uh, we'll place a couple of jobs free of charge for you. If you're looking for plumbers or electricians or crew chiefs or roofing technicians or painters or, or even interior designers or whatever you're looking for reach out, we will help you free of charge. There's no reason why you shouldn't have top quality tradespeople working for your company. That is the first step to get momentum in your train. So it becomes a, a self-revolving, self-financing company. Uh, and once you get momentum, you get better quality uh, clients or profitable clients. If you're not attracting quality clients because of your reviews or whatever it is, you have to start doing things the proper way. And obviously it starts with quality people. So I hope that helps. If you're not interviewing 80 people to hire one, or at least 40 people to hire one, you're hiring the wrong people. You're investing in the wrong people. I would love to hear your questions, comments below and challenge me, you know, let us 
work for you free of charge for two weeks and let's get your train moving. We'd love to hear your question comments below. We'll talk soon. Thank you.